Yaman! Hello, my name is Miguel, and today I'm gonna show you how to dry fry fish, fish filet or filet. Alright, this is fish, boneless fish. Um, it's as big as my palm and it's about quarter inch thick. Alright, so it's defrost and it's dried. It's defrost, that means it's not wet. It's damped a little but it's not wet. Dripping water, it's not dripping water. So measure and head, and this weighs about probably about quarter pounds. Quarter pound. So I'm just using about a teaspoon of salt. I use sea salt. Kind of base both sides with salt. Now sprinkle sage, powdered sage. In all, in all about quarter teaspoon, quarter teaspoon to half a teaspoon. Now add sliced onions. So I just cut half of an onion, remove the skin, the brown leaf, just the brown leaf, and dice or slice the onion. Separate the pieces and kind of sprinkle it on top of your fish, boneless fish. You can put a couple, a few pieces under the bottom too as well. Alright, so once you do that, just cover it. Allow it to marinate for at least 20, between 30 minutes if longer, put it in the refrigerator. Alright. We're going to have it today with toast. I'm going to make a sandwich out of this fish today. But you can have it with rice, vegetables, however way you like eating your fish. Alright, so put a skillet to heat. Put the stove gauge on low. Almost off low. Alright, so this is a raisin bun. It's just like a, a sandwich bun so I like to use it so what I do is just a bun so I have to slice it myself and you can also have the sandwich with regular bread and before I forget you can sprinkle lemon juice on top and have it with salad or whatever you like mashed potatoes pretty much anything this skillet's been on the heat for three minutes. The stove's gauge is on low, almost off. I just put the cut side on the skillet surface and just allow it to toast. After three, between four minutes, see I just put, I just put the, the skillet to heat so the pan is still heating. So this is what you want, you want it to toast. And look like this. Put the other side to be toast. Alright, after two between three minutes, the skillet is, is hotter now. So it's gonna it's gonna toast faster. Alright, so that's what you want. That's it. Put your sandwich to toast to bread or bun. Aside. Now this is a bigger skillet. We're gonna we're going to fry, we're going to dry fry plain fish, plain boneless fish without using flour or any kind of dough. Alright, so I put this bigger skillet to eat, put the stove gauge on 6, medium high. And today, we're going to have it with mayonnaise and lettuce. I'm sorry, I tried. I just walked up by the market. It's Christmas time. Nobody have lettuce. It's after Christmas. Lettuce and tomatoes like skills. So I didn't, I couldn't find any lettuce and tomato. All right. So this is our fish filet. It's been marinating 
for 30 minutes all the fumes from the onion is gonna go in the fish oil from the herbs the herb is just gonna stick to the fish sage goes well with fish any seafood sage is nice with remember now this is natural cooking I'm not using any powdered seasoning to kind of mix your fish in and get it ready for frying and note you can use any fish to do this idea salmon salmon would be great this particular idea or salmon all right you see a little smoke oh yes just to say the pan i put the pan on the heat for five minutes you gotta allow the pan to get hot that's a tail out adding oil first stove gauges on six medium all right after the five minutes i didn't add oil yet stove gauges on six you see the smoke i was showing you earlier now would be a good time to add oil add about a cup between a cup and a half coconut oil you can use any oil any cooking oil I use coconut oil So you got to allow it to get hot. Now you got to allow this oil to get hot for at least three minutes. All right, two between three minutes. You see the smoke. That's what you want. You want oil to be piping hot. That's a tip. This is stainless steel pot. If you are using aluminum, that will, that's, that's the same idea. If you are using Dutch pot, that's the same idea. All right, so do as you see me doing and kind of use a fork, take off the onion, just the onion. Make sure you're not going to fry onion and then carefully lay your boneless fish in the eating oil and allow. Can't move it because it's going to stick. Can't move it because it's going to stick a lot. All right, so I'm just going to let it stay and you're going to see it fry in front of your face. Stove gauge is on six, medium high. You got to let it stay. It sticks to the to the pants bottom right now you won't be able to move it you're gonna allow it to fry before you'll be able to move it if you try to move it it's gonna break apart and it's gonna leave little pieces on the pot's bottom and you don't want that so I'm gonna leave this and you're gonna see it fry in front of your eyes sorry for those who are in hurry but ace bring waste Remember that. Always do. I would say I'm a small businessman. And whenever I try to do hasty stuff or try to push anything on people that's not properly done, it's never, never work out good. They refused it. They want refund. After the time, they don't want refund. They want the proper work. All right, so get a plate. Use a dry clean paper towel and put it on top of the plate surface you can put it aside and have it ready so the more quality time you put in things anything you're getting done the better it will be all right so get your spatula ready you want to see a nice golden brown forming around the edges the edge of the fish See, sticks. You gotta allow. It's about a minute and a half. Nearly two minutes now. You see, the idea is once the fish is fried, once it's fried, it's gonna just separate itself from the pants bottom then you'll be able to flip it see watch watch me see how it goes on and stick all right that's what you want it comes off very easy 
I looked on it to see how how it's frying, if it's cooking too fast. I like where it's going. So I'm just gonna flip it. Use if you can use a spatula and a and a knife or and two spatulas or whatever and kind of flip it because if you flip it fast and, and drop it in the oil it's gonna splash and it can and it might burn you. Alright, so do as you see me doing and flip the fish on the other side after three minutes. Three between four minutes. The stove's gauge is on six, medium high. It's allowed. Like I said, I'm gonna let you see it in front of your eyes. I'm not gonna change it because I want you to see see the entire frying. See that nice, beautiful. golden color that's what you want this is frying fish boneless fish fish flare or filet without dough so you're gonna taste the pure fish. You can have this fish with anything. Alfredo would be nice. All right, it's been two minutes, under three minutes. So it's around five minutes in all. You see how it, I go on down, one side is ready and the other side still sticks you gotta let it stay all right this smaller piece is cooking away so you can flip that it's smaller so you can flip the smaller piece and watch it because it's almost ready fish very soft thin fish like this don't take no more than six eight minutes the most to cook all right so get your paper towel dry the paper towel put it on a plate surface put it on a plate surface all right six minutes a smaller piece took six minutes So this one kind of sticking a little but it's fried. You can obviously see that it's fried. Right, so that's the idea. So alright, this other piece is finished. So they both took six minutes there about. Alright, so turn the stove off and remove this last bigger piece. Make sure you drain it. Drain it properly before you put it on a paper towel. Do as you see me doing and drain the fish. Alright, so that's it. It's best if you just move the eating oil from where we just fried and put it somewhere to cool. Put it on the other side of the stove to cool. So this is dried fried, dry fried fish filet, filet or filet, depending on where you are in the world. Dry fried boneless fish. Visit JamaicaDinners.com for the recipe. Subscribe, like, share, fry this fish yourself, and give us feedback. Alright, a tip.
tip is when you fry fish keep and you're going to use by the oil drain it in a container separate this is chicken container so don't ever mix the fish use the fish oil with the used chicken oil oil clean enough oil that you can use again to deep fry so keep fish oil different from chicken oil don't ever mix them together we're going to uh, assemble some bun have a little flour flour thing I'm wondering what it is it's flour normally I would have some lettuce and some tomato but I don't today but it's okay this is fish you can eat fish without stuff like that but I like my vegetables all right so this is mayonnaise I'm just smelling it to see if it's good see so this spread mayonnaise on your bun on one of your bun side or both sides sandwich bun sprinkle or drizzle a couple drops of ketchup you can put in the sandwich whatever you like whatever ideas you have how to make a sandwich you can dress it up however way you like like I said, I don't want the lettuce, not the tomato, but it's quite fine without it. Alright, this is my cheese. So you just put your slice of cheese on top of your fish. And then place your fish on whatever side of bun. whatever side of the bun so this is dry fried fish sandwich this is another fish sandwich by jamaicadinners.com so this is my sandwich I just I just put the buns together and form my sandwich What I'm going to do is just cut the sandwich in half so we can see the fish, how it's cooked. There you go, white and pretty. You can have some sweet relish. You can add. Some, you could add about a teaspoon of sweet relish to the mayonnaise, and kind of put it on your sandwich. That's nice too as well. That's delicious as well. But a plain sandwich like this is just good. Just as good. I like it. This the other piece. You saw this. You saw the fish, the boneless fish look dry. It's not full of oil. It's not full of oil. It's dry. That's what I mean by dry fry. I'm enjoying the sandwich. The fish almost want to taste like salt, salted cod fish. But it's it's a nice fresh fish, soft. And remember now, you can do this method with any fish. Any fish, whether it's boneless or not. This is just cooking fish without 
Do. All right, see you. Yeah, man.